Welcome. We're going to do toucans today, and I hope you like it. I've been doing some reading on toucans, and um, I found out some things. They live in South America. They, of course, have really big beaks, and we're, when we start to draw them, we'll see how big those beaks are. The beaks are very lightweight and very strong, and the toucans eat fruit and berries and things like that, but I, when I was reading it, I found out that they also eat, and I had no idea, they eat little frogs and they eat little snakes and little reptiles. They don't fly very well, they kind of hop from tree to tree, and also when I was reading about them, I didn't know this, but they live in like um, little hollows in the trees, and they'll kind of wait for a big woodpecker to finish making the, the hollow in the tree, and then they'll kind of move in with their family which I thought was kind of kind of cool. It's kind of like they're recycling bird housing. How's that? <laughs> recycling bird housing. It's like so awesome. So we're going to start out usual where I like to do my border or frame and I'm doing it on turquoise paper today. So that's there's our there's our beginning. You can go this way vert horizontally. I almost got it mixed up. Or you can go vertically, either way, whatever you decide because you're the artist. So let's begin. I'm using turquoise paper today and you might not have turquoise paper at home, but that's okay. You can use whatever paper you have. And again, I'm using my oil pastels, but if you don't have oil pastels and all you have is color print or even a ballpoint pen or pencil, you can still do the, the project. And I'll bet you it'll turn out just as well or even better. I don't know if you remember when we did the spider, but I used a number for the spider. And what I'm going to do, there's an eight, but right now we're going to use the eight to do the toucan. So this is going to be the head of the toucan, and that's the body. They have kind of short little stocky bodies and kind of interesting heads. And even though there's the, there's the eight here, I'm going to just kind of take my line down like this on this side, and you're going to see later on what we're going to do with that. And then I'm going to have my toucan, they've got kind of fun little cool little legs, and so I'm going to have a little leg coming out like this right here, and another little leg coming out like this. And again, I'm doing it in white. If, you, if you're not using white oil pastels, you could be using a, a, a color crayon, any color that you want. But again, I'm kind of going back over. So there are my two legs. And then my toucan's going to have his talons or his little claws. They're going to be kind of like a little curve like that, a little curve like this. Okay? I'm going to have a branch like this that my little toucan is hanging on to. Have that branch kind of continue across the page. The toucan's going to have, of course, a tail like that. Here's going to be the fun part. We're going to do his eye or her eye. So we're going to do another circle, just like we did a circle here. We're going to do another circle here. Only with this one, I'm going to color this in um, pretty solid with white and leave, uh, leave the center without any color just yet, and then I'll show you in a few minutes what we're going to do with that. But because I'm going to be using a color for the eye, I'm putting in that base layer of white. If you're using color crayons, you probably don't even have to do that. Now here's the fun part, the beak. That beak is really big. It's almost as long as the, as the bird is. And has kind of a little, little hook on the end of it for, again, opening up fruit. It has sort of a nice kind of curve to it. So there's the beak, and the beak has a lower part and an upper part. So that's the beginning of my toucan. I'm thinking my toucan eye, I'm going to think is going to be kind of yellow. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going, but you can have it be any color you want. And again, remember, yellow is pretty light. So if I was just going to do yellow, I'm going to use a dark color, probably black right here for the pupil of the eye right there. Okay. So you can make your toucan any color. But I think this one I'm going to do this little guy black. So I'm going to bring the black, there's like his wing, okay. And this is going to be his head like this, all right. 
And I'm just going to again color that in. I'm going to come in. You can use a dark color here. You can make your toucan pink. You could make your toucan make your toucan polka dotted. I'm doing a little bit more of a realistic toucan. There are something like 40 different species or 40 different kinds of toucans, which I thought was really cool. And they can live in the rainforest. Again, there's, we're going to come back in and go over that. I'm going to probably blend that. Uh, they can live in the rainforest. Now I'm going to do his little tail. Um, they can live in the rainforest or they can live in the savanna. That's kind of like a a little bit more drier than the rainforest, and they can sometimes almost live on the corner of, of like a desert. So, you know, I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bring that tail down, just a little corner of it behind the branch, just to make my bird, I just kinda like that whole idea of doing that. So, they, lots of them will have a kind of a fun sort of little chest that's white, Probably about to there and finish coloring this part here and again you can see I'm just sort of just kind of filling in around where the white were outlined in white if I didn't like my, my white line I could go over it you can do the same thing again with the crayon and now I'm going to do some blending but you don't have to do blending almost drawing with my finger this way, even though, look at that, isn't that cool? So, sometimes they'll have a little bit of red, oops, maybe a little bit of red on that chest, like this, or any other color. There we go. The toucan I'm thinking of actually has Blue legs, and look at, I'm running into a problem here. I want blue legs, and I've got blue paper, and so now they're kind of hard to see. So I kind of created a problem, and now i got to figure out how to solve it. But I really like the idea of an animal that has blue legs, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep the blue legs and then solve my little problem here towards, towards the end. The beak is big and colorful, and again, because the, a lot of the beaks are, are mostly yellows, there can be yellows and greens. Um, I'm going to layer in white. Look, we got a little piece of black there, and that's just fine. I'm going to kind of, we're going to make that work. And the beak, the beak can be yellow, it can be green. It has, a lot of beaks are extremely bright colors, and some bird scientists say that's to scare off predators or to be able to hide in a tropical uh, rainforest. Other scientists say they don't know why. And um, I think either answer is good. Sometimes we, if you don't know why, then you have to kind of figure it out. So you might come up with your own reasons. Do a little reading on about the toucans though before you do, so you've got a, a good basis for, for that. Um, sometimes they will have a like an orange spot, like right here. And maybe I've seen some that will have a green spot right here. I'm getting a lot of oil pastel around here, so I'm gonna move it aside like that. That's not quite showing up quite as green as I want, so I'm gonna grab another green here and go over that. So that's kind of the basis of my my beak here. Now I'm going to kind of finish coloring it in. You'll notice that the oil pastel is, is having these little thingies kind of come off of it while I'm working. And I've, I've got something, not all of you will have it, but it's a it's like a little brush for, for when you're drawing that you can kind of keep your painting uh, clean. And it's, a, it's kind of a special artist tool. But if you don't have one of these, ta -da, I can come and just get a regular paintbrush that's clean and dry, and also whisk that same stuff off there. I'm gonna come in with a little bit of 
blue here just to kind of add a little interest to my beak. I might do a blue tip on a dark blue tip like this. Okay, so you can kind of see. I might bring the blue out to here. I'm just going to kind of use different colors. And I'm going to turn it here so I can kind of pull this down a little bit towards me and just kind of keep my line really light. See how that shows up with the white there? So there's my, pretty much my basic toucan. I'm going to do a little bit of that up here too. You don't always have to complete the line either. Sometimes it's interesting not to. I'm going to add a darkness here too. I kind of like that look. And underneath that, you get a book out or you can even look it up on your computer and you can see all the varieties of beaks. This is one that I'm just taking from a picture that I saw. That way. Oh, look, I'm using the smaller brush for this. Now, I think I solved the blue problem being able to have blue feet. When I picked up this blue and put it on top of the white, I thought, you know what? That's a darker blue. And that way I can still have those wonderful blue feet and kind of have them show up. And I'm going to kind of blend that a little bit like this. Kind of a happy looking guy. Oh, and right here, guess what I forgot to do? This is a trick. You can draw, draw the complete eye and then take your white and add a little dot like that and you get a little bit of shininess to it so it looks kind of real. Let's see, I'm going to work on my branch here. I'm sort of feeling like I have a moss green branch. Well, the branch might be peeking through where the claws wrap around. I'm going to color that. Now I made the branch a little bit thicker down here than I wanted, so I'm just going to correct that line, but because it's white there, we're going to do something. I'm going to turn that into a leaf, like that. Aha! And another leaf here. Maybe my leaves are getting smaller as they, as the branch gets smaller. And my leaf says the branch gets bigger, get bigger. And let's see, where's a fun color of green I can use for that? I think there's let me just use this. Kind of a blue green. It's just sort of fun to kind of experiment. Sometimes I plan my drawings out, and sometimes in the middle of what I'm doing, I go, hmm, I don't like the way that's going, and I'll reverse course a little bit and make it work. So. See how that white too, having that white underneath really, really makes that green show up. So I'm thinking, how about a little more of a jungle back here? So maybe we'll do a vine like this, and I'll do some thinner, more different shapes of leaves, like this. And another one kind of coming down behind him. Maybe all the way down behind him, like this. And I'll add one more here. And maybe here I'll have a big tropical fern just being kind of in part of the page. And maybe kind of going off the page. So you really can't see where it starts or see where it ends but it's just another way to break up the space or use the space. And that one, watch this. I'm gonna fill that one in with the light, with white, because I'm gonna have it have a lighter green background. So again, I'm just layering in these areas with white, because so I'm gonna use a light green. Yeah, where's that light green? There's that light green. So, there we go. Oh, that's kind of fun. That really shows up. Oh, 
Lots of times when I'm doing things like this, it makes me even more curious and I want to do a little bit more reading, like about rainforests or different kind of birds that live in the tropics and, and learn about them. There's, we're going to go back to this line here. There's always an opportunity to learn something new, especially when you're drawing. And gives you some time to look things up and be curious about stuff. I like being curious. I like to know how things work and why they work like they do. My gosh, look at that jungle is growing. I'm going to do some more. And the next time you see this, we're going to have even more of a backdrop. You know, it's kind of fun as I keep adding to this, I can, I, I can look at it and I'll think, hmm, I think I want to do something a little bit more, but I'm going to stop right now. And that's kind of my basic drawing. Have a lot of fun doing this and see if you can find some other birds to draw too. See you next time.